Hi, I'm State Representative Roger Goodman from the 45th Legislative District, which includes the northern parts of Redmond, Kirkland, and Sammamish, and the cities of Duval and Woodenville in the northeast corner of King County. I'm reporting to you from the Capitol here in Olympia. The 2014 legislative session has just begun. We are very busy now uh, processing the bills that have been introduced uh, into the system, and the committees are starting their committee hearings uh, just at the beginning now. But it is a short session, a 60-day session, uh, and so we have a lot of work to do in a very short period of time. We have major issues in front of us, including the need to fund our public schools. We put a down payment uh, last year of almost a billion dollars, but I've, I've been advocating for quite a bit more, and I believe we have to make good on the promise and provide more funding this year, particularly for teachers' salaries and to reduce class sizes. Uh, those are the two most important elements in our children's education. The other thing is transportation. We've been deadlocked for too long in funding a transportation package uh, that will benefit commerce and commuters across the state. And I'm hopeful, but still worried, that we might not get a transportation package passed. So we're going to be putting extra pressure uh, to make sure that our roads are safe uh, and that uh, this is a multimodal, railways and waterways and so forth, transit, bicycles, all the transportation modes, we need to make major investments. I serve as a senior member of the House Judiciary Committee, and I'm also chair of the House Public Safety Committee. Those two committees handle both the civil and criminal sides of our justice system. And most of my work here in the legislature focuses on the justice system. I have here the file folders uh, with many of the bills that I've introduced, and the two that I'm most interested in getting passed this year uh, involve foster care and domestic violence. The foster care measure provides legal representation for foster kids in the uh, dependency system. Foster kids are in the court all alone with no one to help them and lawyers uh, helping them through the system will find permanency for them, either reunification for their family uh, or adoption by another family, much quicker than if they have to fend for themselves in the justice system. So very much hoping to get adequate legal representation for foster kids. As to domestic violence, we found that state law permits domestic abusers to keep their firearms even after protection orders or no contact orders are lodged against them. And this has resulted in terrible situations where the abuser will go back to the victim and shoot her uh, after being uh, slapped with a protection order. My bill would prevent those who have protection orders against them from possessing firearms during that period. Uh, and this would be consistent with federal law and many other states. I have a number of other pieces of legislation moving through the system and we'll be following them very closely over the next two months as the session uh, proceeds. But I need to hear from you because I represent you and I want to know what your views are, what your concerns are. So I encourage you to email me, to uh, give me a phone call and I will call you back. Or if you are able, please come to Olympia and visit me uh, here in my office. That FaceTime really makes a difference and I want to be as accessible and responsive to you as possible. So I'll be back to you with another update here from Olympia very soon, but in the meanwhile we'll be following the progress of the legislature, and I want to thank you for the privilege and the honor of serving you for the 45th District. Thanks very much.